Wish somebody had told me this happened. I knew that they grew, but I didn't know that they grew, okay? <laughs> there are monsters under there, and I am super insecure about it. I know that it's normal, I know that that's okay, but it's weird, dude. It's, it's weird to see your body change like that. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke, I am 23, I eat a plant-based diet, and I am pregnant. I wanted to give you guys my update. I think the last update I gave was, I think, up to eight or nine weeks, and I am now 14 weeks pregnant. So that is... A long time and I wanted to kind of update you on what has been going on since I last talked to you and just out of curiosity I looked at uh, some other 14 week pregnant updates on YouTube that I could find and tell you what <laughs> Mine is not gonna be that pretty. Like, it's got all this nice music, it's in the sunlight, it shows their bump. You're gonna get me in the dark with my messy bedroom as my background after I've been sweating all day at the Minnesota State Fair. That's what you're getting from me. And I don't know if that makes me a bad YouTuber or a bad mommy vlogger, but this is just real life and I am exhausted. I'm exhausted. I've been exhausted this entire pregnancy. I sleep about 16 hours a day. Usually I sleep a good 9 to 10 hours at night and then I'll take a 2 to 4 and a half, 5 hour nap during the day and I am still tired all the time. I am also still not able to eat very much. I, if you watched my previous updates, I had a really, really hard time eating for the first, I don't even know, like month and a half. I could barely eat anything throughout the day, so I was losing about two pounds a week, which apparently was fine, and now it has lessened to about a pound a week. So I'm still obviously not eating enough, but I'm not, losing two pounds a week anymore. I'm only losing one pound. So I'm starting to be able to eat a little bit more, which is awesome. I love eating and not eating was really, really messing with me mentally because since I'm not putting any fuel into my body, I have absolutely no energy to expend doing anything else. So now I do have more fuel in my body, so I am a little bit more able to do stuff, which is great, but I'm still not quite able to get into the gym or do a lot of physical activity. People keep saying that that'll get better as this second trimester goes forward because I am officially in my second trimester now. However, it has not shown any signs of getting better yet. I almost always feel like I'm about to faint. Even if I'm just laying on the couch and, or sitting on the couch even, and I stand up too quickly, I get the sparkles in front of my eyes and it's like, uh-oh, here we go, <laughs> come pass out. I have broken down in tears once recently because I was just so frustrated with how crappy I felt. And that was when I begged my boyfriend to go on a walk with me and my dog and he, gladly obliged. So we go for this walk and about 20 minutes in, I'm like, I am about to pass out. I need to get home now. And then I booked it home as I got into my, sorry about my dog. I, oh, I was starting to like lose vision and it was not good. I got into the house and I just collapsed on the floor. I didn't pass out or anything, but I just couldn't even make it onto the couch to lay down. I just had to lay down on the floor. And if you hear that I'm a little stuffed up, a little nasally, it's because I had really bad allergies this weekend, just seasonal allergies, which I have only had once before last year. I, I've never thought that I had or would have allergies, but apparently they can just pop up and leave at any time. So I have had really bad allergies this past weekend, but they are getting much better, which is awesome. And oh, I think I mentioned I get out of breath really easily as well. So like, yeah. 
And if I stand on my feet without sitting down, like even if it's just for a couple minutes, but if I'm on my feet for like more than three hours, my ankles start hurting. And if it's more than five hours, then my entire body starts aching. Like my lower back is killing me and my legs. And I'm just, I'm just tired, you guys. I'm so tired. And I can't sleep very comfortably either because I'm always a stomach sleeper. And pretty much since I found out I was pregnant, I haven't been able to sleep on my stomach, which I know you're not supposed to anyway, but like I can't sleep the way I used to sleep because it's not comfortable. But unfortunately, since I've been sleeping the same way for 19 or however old I am, 23 years, I, I can't get comfortable any other way. So, ugh. and this video is just, it's just complain, complain, complain. But this is the truth. And I was telling my friend today, I was just like, I thought that this was gonna be so much easier for me. And the thing is, it has been. It hasn't been hard at all. I've thrown up only three times. I haven't had any morning sickness, any nausea. I've literally only thrown up three times. And each time it was just like, oh, I'm gonna throw up, bleh, threw up, done. It wasn't like a horrible traumatic situation like it normally is when I throw up. So. It's like I haven't been sick or anything like that. I've just been freaking tired. And these past couple weeks specifically, I've been so angry. I've been so angry. Ah. I'll just go through these sporadic bouts of rage and then it'll go away in either like usually a few minutes and I'm just like, sorry, sorry I was angry. There was only one day where that rage lasted literally the entire day and that was super tough on my body because it was like that constant like pounding heart of just rage all day long. It gave me intense anxiety. I didn't want to be angry anymore, but I was and oh, it's been bad. Also, if you guys don't know me, I go to therapy once a week with my therapist who is wonderful but she has been on maternity leave since the beginning of July, so I haven't seen her since the end of June. Passport has been getting on my nerves a lot, and I think it's because we've been together so much, like all day, every single day. And so she has been driving me absolutely crazy, but I'm sure that my sleepiness has been driving her crazy. So that's been actually really, really hard because I think I take out a lot of my anger on her. But what I was saying is that my therapist has been on maternity leave and it is now August 23rd. And so it's been a while since I've gotten to see her, but she'll be off of maternity leave soon. I think the first week of November or something like that. So she will be back and I cannot be more excited because I need her and I miss her and I wish that I had somewhere to put all of this rage because like I just, and I'm so frustrated because everybody said like, oh, you're gonna start feeling better so soon. And this was like weeks ago. And I broke down in tears after that walk. Sorry, my mind is all over the place. That's another thing. I feel so stupid all the time, like all the time. My, I had a day and I was just like, okay, this Tuesday, this day, that was just fine. Literally, I made a Facebook event, I, you know, my parents, I sent it over and 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 but that time I broke down in tears after the walk when I just got super lightheaded and had to just lay on the floor, I was just so frustrated because I was like, I thought that I would feel so much better. And if I didn't feel better, at least like I would start feeling better. You know what I mean? And to be honest, at times I've felt just super inadequate because I'm like, why is this not a breeze for me? Like, why do I feel all of these things? Shouldn't this be easier for me? So that has been something that I've been feeling sometimes. Because it's the second trimester and you're supposed to have all this energy and you're supposed to like blah, 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 blah. And the thing is, like, I feel like a lot of people don't complain about pregnancy because people kind of are just like, oh, well, it'll all be worth it or whatever. And it's like, well, yeah, no shit, it'll all be worth it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, obviously it'll all be worth it. But like, if you want to 
bitch about your weight gain or whatever, go ahead. Like, it's not, it doesn't make you a bad mom, but I feel like a lot of people shame you into thinking that, like, oh, you shouldn't be complaining about your weight gain because you're pregnant and that's supposed to happen or whatever. And it's like, well, yeah, but it still sucks, you know? Like, I don't know. I just, I feel like I have every right to complain because this has been a lot harder than I thought it would be. And I'm not even trying to like just complain, complain, complain. I'm just trying to let you know, like I thought it was gonna be a breeze and that I wasn't gonna have any problems. And here we are now with all of these problems that aren't even really problems. It's just things I wasn't expecting. So if you're pregnant and you're like, ooh, what's coming up in the next few weeks? I just want you to be prepared because this is what's happening for me. Speaking of weight gain, I, have not gained any weight. I've actually lost almost 16 pounds now. It's probably over 16. I haven't weighed myself in five days. But, yep, I'm just losing, losing, losing weight. And um, my midwife said that it is normal. However, they would like to see it soon uh, start, you know, going back up the opposite direction on that scale. So, yeah. But obviously, the baby is healthy, I had an ultrasound already, and everything looked good in there. The baby was literally doing flips and like stretching its arms out against the barriers of the womb, and like, it was just, it was really, really cool. And CJ got to be there for that, which was awesome. I was going to film it, but I wanted to just kind of share that moment special with him. Uh, yeah. I mentioned that we're finding out the gender. Actually, in two days, we're finding out the gender, which is extremely exciting. We got these confetti cannons, and I got one blue and one pink, and I have no idea which one is which. They sent these special directions uh, to tell which color is which, so, uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to have our friend, Jenny, figure it out which, which gender it is and then present us with the correct confetti popper and that's how we're going to figure out. We're going to be very surprised. The only one that's going to know is her. And so yeah, that'll be very, very exciting. And we're going to do that with some family and friends on a lake nearby, so yeah, that'll be great. I I can't wait. I We got the chromosome genetic testing where they just take some blood from me and they use that uh, to test the chromosomes, uh, specific chromosomes. I think it's number 21, number 19, and number 13, or something like that. I'm not, I'm honestly, I have literally no idea, but they're just testing to see if the baby has any genetic disorders, and then you can also find out the sex that way. So, we're going to find out the sex, extremely exciting, and yeah, since it's our first baby, we have literally no idea what it is. Uh, he has a feeling it's a girl. I have no idea. When I first found out I was pregnant, I was like, it's a girl, for sure. 100% a girl. But then a few weeks went by and I started thinking, like every time I think about the baby, I think, oh, little man. So I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means, but I've never been pregnant before. And even if I had been pregnant before, you still really never know. So. There is that. I have not had any cravings whatsoever. I have like obviously had foods like, ooh, I really want a donut, which I shared with you in my heartbeat, hearing the heartbeat for the first time video, I ate some donuts, but obviously vegan donuts. Anyway, yeah, I haven't had any like really strong cravings or anything like that. I, my boyfriend right now, um, is out of town a lot for work, but when he's been in town, he has been so sweet, so sweet, and absolutely spoiling me with massages, and what can I get for you, what can I do for you? He's been awesome, and he's so, so excited to be a dad. If you guys want a video with him in it, uh, let me know, I guess. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you didn't know, I am delivering in a birth center, which means that they're super holistic and it's midwives. I'm going to have a doula 
and it's a very hippy dippy way to give birth especially since they do not have or offer pain medication or epidurals there so I'm really just going into it full force which is another reason why I kind of feel like I shouldn't be complaining right now because I'm like if you're complaining about being tired then maybe you should go to a place where you can get an epidural or whatever but again I don't think that me complaining means that I'm not strong it just means this is the reality of pregnancy it's not it's not the most fun thing at least so far the first trimester has definitely not been fun and I'm patiently awaiting the second trimester and all of the ease that it's supposed to bring me the sparkles and glitter and all of those things um, my boobs <laughs> I also spilled all over myself my boobs have been hurting and growing since the week I found out that I was pregnant and now I have officially had to go up to a C which a C cup bra a 30 34 or 36 C I think is where I'm at and that I've definitely outgrown so glad that I got that at uh, Goodwill for $2.99 because I already have to size up again I'm not sure what I'll size up to next but that's the situation there are stretch marks all around my breasts and that I am totally fine with but one thing that I've been a little bit to be honest insecure about is my areolas this is gonna be uh, this is definitely gonna be TMI for some of you because it's about my nipples but regardless I'll say it anyway because again something I was not expecting don't know why but I wasn't my nipples, like, I, I've always been okay with my boobs. They've been on the smaller side, my, my boobs as a whole, but I've never minded it. I have always thought that since my breasts were smaller that my areolas seemed kind of large because they're like normal size and then my boobs are smaller. And now even though that they've like doubled at least in size, they like my boobs, uh, how many times can I grab my boobs? But now that my boobs have doubled in size, my nipples have two. My areola, I swear, I'm sorry if this is TMI, but again, like, wish somebody had told me this happened. I knew that they grew, but I didn't know that they grew, okay? <laughs> there are monsters under there, and I am super insecure about it, but I've shown my girlfriends, and again, is that weird? And, um, other people close to me I'll say that and they think that I look normal and that it's fine but that is the one thing that I've been a little bit insecure about because I'm just like damn son like they're still really big like they're big and I know that it's normal I know that that's okay but it's weird dude it's it's weird to see your body change like that. Like the stretch marks, I don't mind it. I was expecting stretch marks. My mom's got stretch marks, my sister's got stretch, like I'm used to it, okay? I don't mind stretch marks. But that, I, I've definitely Googled, will my nipples go back to normal at least 10 times because, because what? <laughs> Sorry if that's too much information for you, but if it is, then you maybe shouldn't even be having a baby, just saying. And the range just keeps building. But aside from losing over 15 pounds and my boobs getting so much bigger, I really haven't experienced much physical changes except my hair is growing a lot, especially like my little, my little baby hairs. They're like really long baby hairs now, which uh, I don't mind because I don't have a lot of hair to begin with. I have very thin, fine hair, so I love that. And then my nails are also growing so fast every week that I cannot keep up with them, so they always look like trash. My housework and things like that, I've been able to keep up with, but some days I'm just like, not today, and I think that that's perfectly okay. Some days I'm just like, I need to sleep instead. So, yeah. But I think that I've complained enough. I find out the gender of our baby in two days, which is unreal. I, I am so, so excited. I cannot wait. And it's killing me not to read these directions because, like, there is a way to figure out which 
which one is pink and which one is blue, but I don't want to know because when our friend Jenny hands us the little cannon, I don't want to be like, yeah! It's a girl. Like, you know, I don't want to know. So I'm just patiently waiting, keeping that over there, not touching it. I am really just, I oh, tell you what, it, this has been so different than I thought it would be. So different because like a lot of people don't talk about their pregnancy until the second trimester starts for their own personal reasons, which is totally fine. I get it. Um, I, I told everybody at like four weeks because I cannot keep my mouth shut, but I, yeah, I, I feel like nobody talks about like all of the shitty parts of the first trimester because by the time they tell everyone they're pregnant, that's already over and done with and they're in their second trimester living their best life. So yeah, I feel super complainy and super like, <laughs> like a whiny crybaby. But this is just real life, so if you don't enjoy real life, get off of this channel. <laughs> one good thing that has come from this, one good thing, is that CJ, I mean he can tell you more about this himself, but he like respects me a lot more than he used to, and he'll admit this too. He kind of thinks that I'm super cool now because he's like, she's doing something that I could never possibly do, and that's amazing so and he sees like he I think at first he thought that I was being kind of a crybaby but now I think that he's starting to realize like wow she's going through some stuff and she's doing it for us and she's doing it for our baby and I think that that's amazing so it's it's really cool he like he respects me more than he used to and Obviously, I appreciate that, and because he looks at me with different eyes, I see him in a different way myself. He's just, yeah, we've been getting along great. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. We've been getting along so great, and he is literally my best friend and the light of my whole day. So, yeah. Long story short, I am still not doing so hot. Cannot wait for that beautiful second trimester turnaround that everybody keeps talking about. I cannot wait to update you guys on the gender of our baby and the results of all those genetic tests. Ah, I can't, I, I honestly cannot wait. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, excuse my messy background. Some days I'm like, hell yeah, let's do this. We can do anything. And then other days I'm like, ha, look at all the fucks I don't give. <laughs> so yeah, and that's okay. I don't shower a lot these days either because I'm like, why would I when I'm just gonna get dirty tomorrow? And that's just the kind of attitude that I've had. And that's okay. I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to be mom of the year. It's just, it is how it is. I guess I'll give you a quick bump shot and then I gotta go. Enjoy my Zuba pants. So this is baby bump. Doo, doo, doo. Shirt goes in like this. There we go. There it is. Yep, a Rooney. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope you don't think it was super complainy because I didn't mean it to be. I just meant it to be real and raw and honest with you guys. If you did like it, please let me know in the comments and by giving me a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see my baby daddy on a video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.